to my channel. We're getting right into it with some brows and a facelift, but really just brows. So we are going to do like a water resistant kind of tutorial today. So I'm going to use a lot of products that are long wearing, water resistant, all that jazz. So my favorite tool to do this with is the brow brush by Tarte. And I'm going to start at the end of the brow, not using too much product, and then I'm going to tool going to towards the front of the brow, just kind of flicking the brush up, doing short strokes. I swear by this stuff, especially when it's summer, it really does stay. I remember I went to Vegas a couple years ago and this stayed in the heat and the sweat and the water pool places everywhere. I really like, definitely recommend this as a water resistant brow product. For setting the brows, I'm using the Anastasio Clear Brow Gel and just kind of brushing through these brow hairs. And to conceal my brows, I'm using the Motive with Love Sculpt series. I'm using the first two colors right here. I tried to find a better concealer to conceal my brows with, but I have found a better routine and I will probably introduce it in my next video. So. I'm gonna just use this for now. I'm using my Brush Love Flat Eyeliner Brush to blend this out, and then I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger as well. For primer, I'm using Painterly Pro Wear Paint Pot, as always. And then I'm going in with Sandalwood and Henna from the Rose Gold Palette by Huda Beauty. And I'm going to put this in the crease, Sandalwood first, obviously. Putting that in the crease, and I'm using an E40 by Sigma to do this, going back and forth. These shadows are super pigmented and just very, very easy to move around. I'm very happy with this palette and I've actually grabbed it a whole bunch of times in the past weeks. So I definitely recommend it. It is a little expensive, but it's really a great value. So I'm just going back and forth windshield wiper motions and just putting this in my crease. We're not doing anything too deep today, but we are going to have it a little smoky, but not dark smoky. Now taking a Morphe R39 brush, rose gold, oh my god, it's so pretty. I love Morphe brushes that are rose gold. Any brushes that are rose gold are really pretty. Now I'm taking henna and I'm going on the outer V and just kind of rubbing it in there. Going into the crease slightly. And this is going to be the darkest we are going. I know, usually I like layer a million colors and go to like black, but we're keeping it light today. We're keeping it light today. So I'm just going to make a few more swirly motions into the crease, going back and forth. Do you guys like how I'm doing this where I show you both eyes? Do you like the one eye better? I feel like a lot of people do like the both eye tutorial. It's more of a get ready with me this kind of way. And I also noticed that patting the eyeshadow gives you a lot more pigment too, instead of blending it all. Now I wasn't sure which foiled eyeshadow to use, but I touched the rose gold one and just said, hell yeah. So I'm taking my finger with this foiled shadow and just patting it and sliding it down on the lid. Keeping it in the center mostly because we're going to add another color in the inner corner area. But I wish I used my finger sooner with this palette because it just changes the entire eye. It really does change. The entire look like instead of using your brush with this oh it's just so beautiful the way it looks I love it now I'm using an e57 from Sigma and I'm taking moon dust which is a stunning pearl yellow ish shade it's beautiful and I'm just going to put this on the inner corner patting it onto the inner corner making sure I can get the most pigment possible onto the eye and this just was such a beautiful contrast. I'm so happy I picked this. Sometimes I just wing it. And this was a good winging process. I guess you would call it. For mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and Man Eater together. Um, the packaging for the Lights Camera Lashes is the uniform packaging. Oh my god, so beautiful to look at. So I'm just going to coat my lashes with this and then I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'll add the man eater afterwards. Decided on no liner today. You know, why not? Why not jazz it up? 
jazz it up sometimes because I feel like I do liner literally every time. For lashes, I'm using Gigi Bell Lashes in Bougie. Mm -hmm. How do you guys like the packaging? I'm so excited to get launched these. June 25th, guys, it's coming up. Get ready. Get ready. So I'm just going to plop these on with a Sigma tweezer. And I use the Huda Beauty waterproof glue with these babies. And that glue is insane. And I don't know where I put it. I have to find it. But it's just beautiful. Now starting the face, I'm using the Pore Minimizing Primer by Smashbox. And I'm just putting that all over the face. For foundation, I'm using the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. It's a 12-hour stay. And I am in tan deep sand, I believe. Or tan sand deep. One of those. I'm using a buffer brush from Zoeva. It's an old brush. And I'm just going to blend it all in. I'm using a full coverage foundation because we have a little visitors everywhere. So why not just cover them all up? So I'm just blending this all out. For concealer, I really don't even have to show you guys. You know what I'm using. Tape, tape shape, shape tape. Favorite concealer literally ever. Literally ever. I'm going to put it on the chin and the nose as well. And a little bit on the forehead just to make sure everything is nice and even. And brightened in the middle of the face. Now to contour, I'm using Deep Honey Clay Stick Foundation by Tarte. And this was a lot better for my skin tone than the Deep, what did I use? Uh, rich Brown before I think I used? Or Rich Honey? One of those? I forgot what the name it is. But the Deep Honey just went with my skin a lot better. I feel like the Rich Brown kind of made my skin a little too bronzed or a little too dark. It just looked a little awkward. So this one worked out a lot better. And I started doing this new contour trick with my jaw. Instead of putting it on the jaw and like going around it, I figured why not bring it down to the neck instead of having that orange line that you have to worry about. It looks good, I promise. And to blend this out, I'm using the 3D HD Blender. You guys can use code Gianna at checkout, sigmabeauty.com to get a discount on all Sigma products. And I'm blending out my concealer first, and then I'm going to go into the contour. I always like to blend out the light first and then go towards the dark areas. It's just a lot smoother process. You don't mix the dark with the light, you know what I'm saying? Case is from Velvet Caviar, if you can see it. I'm filming this because this is for Live Glam, which I do every Thursday. That's probably going to pop up in a little bit. I'm blending the contour up, making sure that line stays there but blends out. But the way this clay foundation blends is insane. It's just so movable, beautiful. I love it. Oh, it's just everything. And then you can see how I'm blending down the jaw or neck contour, I guess you could say, and just kind of blending it down the neck. And it really like helped my double chin. It just made it look like I didn't have one. Okay, here's the information about Live Glam Co. Snapchat. Every t every Thursday I do a takeover at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I hope to see you there. So I'm just going to blend that out. I try to film and Snapchat the sa at the same time, especially when I do takeovers, because it's a great time for me to film and kill two birds with one stone. So I've been doing that lately, but it's kind of getting a little difficult because I've noticed that my camera angles are a little off when I'm doing the Snapchat, so I don't know how much longer I could do that, but we'll see. Now blending out the nose, I blend it out with my fingers first and then I tap it with the blender as well, just so it blends really nice and seamlessly. And then I just go over again with my finger. Sometimes your finger is the best tool to set and bake slightly. I'm using the Locket Translucent Powder by Kat Von D, my new favorite. I got over Laura Mercier real quick, man. I mean, I love it still, I still love Laura Mercier, but this Locket, man, it's just so thin and ugh, it just really sets the makeup beautifully and I just can't get over it. I'm gonna do under the contour as well, under the cheekbone. 
And for blush, I'm using the Trio Berry Adore by Anastasia. Love the way these look. The packaging is just so pretty. And I'm using that orange shade with an F10 from Sigma. And I'm just going to make circular motions on the cheeks. And smile it up, making it awkward for everybody. And for bronzer, I'm using Capri Coast by Becca, the Sunlit Bronzer. And I'm using an F23 just to kind of apply it all over with the light hands. I also like to contour my bottom lip a little bit. But we don't need to do too much because that contour with the clay stick just already did it for us. Now I'm using Maneater for the lower lash line. Just rubbing it across with a small Coastal Suns brush that's super old and still going strong. Coastal Sense is actually really good, guys. If you have never tried it, I recommend it. For the bottom lashes, I'm using Maneater Mascara by Tarte. Love the way this makes the lashes look. So beautiful. So beautiful. And for highlighting, I'm using this Smashbox Pearl highlighter with Casey Holmes. I think it's called the Spotlight Palette. And I'm putting this on with a Morphe M501. This is a beautiful formula. I mean, you can freaking see me from outer space. It's insane. Very soft application too. It really blends really nicely. I don't feel like it's like a line between my contour and my, and my blush and everything. It looks really nice and soft, I have to say. For lips, I'm using Live Glam's Kiss Me Liquid Lipstick. Love this formula. I'm using the shade Teddy Bear. I definitely recommend you check out Kiss Me at Live Glam Co. or I think it's just liveglam.com. I'll put a link below for you guys. And you can use code Gianna when you sign up for it. You get three lips every month. And you can skip the lips if you don't feel them. You're not feeling it. But I think that's just such a cute idea. And the formula is just to die for. And this color is just, ooh. Oh, it's one of my favorites. And it lasted all night long. It was just so beautiful. And I didn't e even use a liner, guys. No liner. If you liked Overline, it's beautiful. I loved it. Now to lock in the makeup, I'm using the Locket Spray by Kat Von D. Stole it from my sister because she left it on my desk. So, it's technically mine. And that's it, you guys. That is the video for today. I hope you have enjoyed this summer fiery look. That was too dramatic. The lashes are, but you know, I mean, we gotta have a little something. So again, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed, and to subscribe if you haven't already, because I know you want to see my face a little bit more than the usual person, maybe. And that's it, you guys. Be sure to comment below your thoughts and suggestions for the next videos, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.